Hi guys, Dorothy here, professional astrologer. You can find me on the web, nhastrologer.com. And those of you who are watching me on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. I just discovered 62% of you who are watching all my videos are not my subscribers. I would like that number to go down a little bit. All right, please. Thank you. All right, today I'm gonna to talk to you about the week of Monday, March 25th not as busy a week as we had last week with the super full moon with the spring equinox yay it's spring oh, finally the peer the thing is not as busy a week but we do have some significant things going on and i'm going to focus on three major things this week two planets changing zodiac signs and mercury moving direct so we can all stop complaining about mercury retrograde when everything goes wrong because stuff still goes wrong <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you all kinds of information, so don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. Now remember also, my forecast is written out on my website, the name is right there, and you can read that forecast in detail on the website or join my email list and I will email it to you. Once a month, by the way, I pick somebody to get a free 15 minute reading who has signed up to be on my email list in that month. So maybe a one of them. All right. Monday, the 25th, the moon's in Sagittarius. And what I really want us to do when it's, I know it's the first day of the week for a lot of nine to fivers, and we always have a lot to do on Mondays, but this is a day where we need to keep things really light and easy. That moon in Sagittarius, making the aspects it's making today, just says play, have fun, relax, uh, experience things. We, we can't be too strict in how we're um, performing our work or interacting with others. Not today or even into Tuesday, tomorrow the 26th. So Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna lump these two together because both days have the moon and Sag making aspects, some easy, some difficult, but the Sagittarius moon still just wants to play, have fun, live, live life, explore, learn, play, whether you're at school, at work, on vacation, I don't care what you're doing, this is a day where we wanna have two days actually, when we really want to just sort of go with the flow and what our passion is and what fire is being fed just to go with that. Okay, that's what Monday and Tuesday is. Now, another thing on Tuesday, we have Venus entering the sign of Pisces. And what time does that happen? 3.43 p.m. This is East Coast time zone. Now, so for the last, yeah, usually three weeks-ish, Venus has been in Aquarius, meaning we value uh, analytical things. We value thinking things through. We are value freedom, loving, and being independent, right? Venus rules finances and Venus rules love and romance. Now she moves into one of her favorite signs and this is Pisces. So once she moves into Pisces, this we have the opportunity now Venus takes off all that analytical outfit, that garb, if you will, and puts on the garb of Pisces, which is more comfortable, more revealing, if you will. Very uh, luxurious. If it's not luxurious, it can still be your flannel PJs and your bunny slippers. I mean, it is getting comfortable. But and for some people, this is an opportunity now after we've an overanalyzed a lot of things with Venus in Pisces for the next 25 days is a chance to really dive deep into your romantic relationships, whatever that is for you, and really go in and surrender into a relationship and connect on a spiritual level in a relationship. And this is really important because we also have Mercury making its station pretty soon with Neptune in the sign of Pisces. They're not with Venus yet, but they're all in the same zodiac sign. And that means that we're at this point of surrender. So with Venus in Pisces now and Mercury moving, stationing to go direct in Pisces with Neptune in Pisces. I'm saying Pisces a lot, I know. That just means, that means we have a triple, triple hitter of moving into what is, allowing it, what is to happen, 
going deeper, surrendering into whatever your current life situations are and not hanging on so tightly. This is a main theme that's going on under the surface and, you know, cause it's just beginning with Venus for Tuesday evening and into Wednesday. So on Wednesday, the 27th, we also have the moon entering the sign of Capricorn in the morning. That will be uh, 10 7 a.m. East Coast. When the moon enters Capricorn, we feel like we have uh, responsibilities. No, no funny stuff, no playing. The moon in Sag is very different than the moon in Capricorn, I have to tell you. I have a moon in Capricorn, so it is not overly emotional. doesn't mean you can't be emotional. It just means the thing that comes out first is what's logical, what's practical. Let's get things done. We are with the moon in Capricorn for the next three days. It will stay in Capricorn all of the 27th, so Wednesday, Thursday, and almost all of Friday. The moon in Capricorn is about we got to get it done. Now, I know I just told you that we have a lot going on when it's just about letting things go and surrendering into the situation, whatever that is for you. And that is true. But we also have many people, we all have multifaceted lives. There's always something else going on somewhere in our life. So not everything is running like happy, carefree, and surrendering. There are other pieces of, and there can be some of that, but other pieces are also um, being logical and practical. And again, with that Capricorn moon in the phase that it's in, the lunar phase it's in, it is, I got to get things done. So we are feeling two very different energies, uh, con you know, uh, simultaneously, there we go, um, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because we want to get stuff done, but we also sometimes just have to throw our hands up and surrender to whatever is happening. All right. Keep that in mind throughout the whole week, honestly. Now, the big news on Thursday, of course, is Thursday, just at 10 a.m. East Coast time, Mercury shifts gears and it takes that gear. I do this, but my shift is down on here now. <laughs> it takes that, it takes its direction and goes from the R to the D. So now we're, instead of retrograde, we're facing direct. But we have to remember that this is a stationary day. So typically 24, 48 hours on either side of the day, it's considered not retrograde anymore. It is sitting still. That means communicate. These are the days that Mercury retrograde create a lot of stress and tension because we have momentum going in some areas in life. But when this planet sits still, it is a day of abs. It's a day of standstill. Not a lot of things move easily on the day and a few hours, a few days on either side of the direct station of Mercury. Okay. All right, so these are the days that it feels a little tougher. Now, he's also really, really close to Neptune. He doesn't make the exact conjunction. He's only a couple of minutes away. He'll make that next week as a direct planet. But right now, he is, he is with Mercury. I mentioned it a few minutes ago. Scroll back if you want. And it just means that if things are going tough, he is there with Neptune. Venus is in Pisces. It means we are to surrender. So we're going to try and get a lot done. We're going to feel motivated to do some things thanks to the Capricorn moon. But the Mercury station with Neptune means we might not see clearly what it is we're doing. And we might need to just let go right now. Do what you have to. You can take the whole week off if you want. But do what you have to. <laughs> it's always free will. But just know if things aren't working and there is no flow, stop it for now and try again tomorrow. That's really the best that we can do with what we have going on. And I know I'm blending the days this week, but that's just the way it is right now. So that's what we have going on on Wednesday, the 27th, Thursday, the 28th, when Mercury goes direct and even into Friday. All right. Let me speak a little more about Friday now. Super early in the morning, the moon in Capricorn conjuncts Saturn and then it conjuncts Pluto and that's it until late in the evening. So these two conjunctions, the moon's going to be doing this once a month until they Saturn and Pluto come together. The south node's involved in here too. And so this is just motivation. If you're a super early bird, this is a great way to start your Friday by getting an awful lot done. 
Again, we're in that balsamic lunar phase now. So that means you're tying up, you're finishing up, you're ending projects. So this is what we can feel really early in the morning on Friday. And then, then the moon trine Mars is the final aspect it makes while in the sign of Capricorn. And that's at 8.05 PM East Coast. And that's actually really motivating. So we start the day with some incredibly motivating energies. And then 12 hours later, 13 hours later, we have the moon with Mars, which is also very, very motivating. They're both earthy energies, so it's feeling very grounded. So we could have a day here where we get a lot accomplished, all right? So, but it's all up to you and how you want to use this. We also have 9.46 p.m. The moon enters the sign of an analytical sign of Aquarius. So now we're going to get into the head. And we're going to start analyzing things. And that's what the whole weekend is about. The moon in Aquarius connects with Uranus. He rules Aquarius and Chiron and the sun. And basically what is going on here is it's like it is we're very motivated to see if we can problem solve, see if we can brainstorm, see if we can find a new way or a new edge to do something. But again, balsamic lunar phase. So these are all ideas. Mercury hasn't moved much yet. So write this down. These are more ideas in here than out in action in the action world. Okay. Now, Saturday night or Sunday morning, depending on where you live, it's Saturday night on the West Coast. Sunday morning on the East Coast, Mars enters Gemini. So yeah, this is all right. So we have Mars and Gemini, which is very talkative, very analytical. So there's a lot of communications going on with the moon in an air sign as well in Aquarius, Mars in an air sign, Gemini. Then this is actually in the way I see it is the floodgates opening up since Mercury has been retrograde for a while, barely moving at this point, we have an opportunity to start talking and to bring some things to the surface that we've sort of been holding on, holding on to over the last few weeks. But with the moon in that balsamic lunar phase, a lot of the talking is going to be to yourself. That lunar phase, and I love these lunar phases, but that lunar phase is all about total completion. And it is going within and figuring out what is going on internally. All right. So that Mars will be in Gemini for the next seven weeks ish. And so while it's in there, a lot of animation going on, a lot of communication going on. But right now until the new moon, which is next week, we have lots of opportunities to work through things internally. All right. All right, that's it for today. Please, again, subscribe, comment, share. This is just how I get my message out to you. And I can't do it if it wasn't for you guys. So just continue to share. And I really appreciate that. Website is nhastrologer.com for your own personal and private um, information. If any of this is interesting enough for you to do that, I'm sure it is. Anyways, thank you guys. Blessings. Namaste.